Hi viewers, uh, Danny's going to take this program called The Perfect Head, yep, and the illustrious Dino, Lloyd, Max and Papa will be his four players, and I'm going to hand straight over to Danny for this very interesting program. Thanks, Lock. Um, guys, the idea of this um, drill or skill is to develop some communication and some understanding of what happens on a head and how you guys have to work together to achieve a result. Um, who's the skip among you four? Dino? Dino, come over. I'm going to ask you to imagine that you're going to build the perfect head. And I'm going to place the CD down where you ever nominate your first bowl. Imagine your team over here are all world champions. Yep. And they can place the bowl wherever you want to within a centimetre. Who's your lead? Lloyd. Lloyd? Where would you like Lloyd's first bowl to land? The mat's down the other end. Where would you like Lloyd to place his first bowl? Well, can I first say that, although I've been appointed skip, we're playing as a team, and we see that everybody has input into what we consider to be the perfect head. So I'd like to see Lloyd, yep. in agreement, yep. put a bowl in front of the jack, yep. but I don't think we need to be touching the jack. Yep. Any touch on that bowl would bring the jack safe. Slightly in front. Yep. Okay, terrific. Where would you like Lloyd to place his second bowl? I'd like Lloyd to place his second bowl behind the head. Half a mat. There? Yep. Okay. Now we've got to make the unlikely assumption that our opponents have uh, put all their bowls in the ditch and we're just going to work through all eight bowls and see where they end up. Where would you like number three and four bowls to finish? I'd like a bowl over here because they're going to be playing against us. We don't we, we don't want to be giving them uh, a widened head, do we? Would you agree? I agree. I agree. We, we don't want a widened head for them. We don't want to give them a target. Okay. Okay. Happy with those guys? Yep. Yes. With a bowl over there. Number four. Similarly, we put a bowl over here. On the other side. Yep. Number five, six, your thirds bowls, where are they going to end up? How about we think about uh, trying to uh, shut off an upshot? Yep. So, something like a blocker, but we don't leave a hand open, so down the, down the line. Well, and count about a, a block, a, block a, of it count. Well, so half a mat in front. Maybe a little bit more. Touch, touch more out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number six. I think we're too worried about the really heavy one that comes through is kind of protecting the, the ditch. Yep. Right at the back. Right the so we've now got five bowls down. So we're going to cover the back. All right, let's cover the back. Again, I like the idea of covered conservative. I reckon we've got it nicely covered out here. Jack Springs, we've got the back covered. We're trying to stop the drive up the centre line. How about a bowl further out in the line? Yep. Happy with that or not? What do you think? Or would you prefer something? Then now remember you guys have got the skills to be able to place a, a bowl wherever you want them okay. to. Okay, let's put a bowl out here. This is your bowl. Oh, so I've got to be able to put a bowl there. This is, a wide, this is a wider drawing hand. Yep. This is a narrower drawing hand. So I think we've pretty well got that covered on the narrow, narrower drawing side. So for that one just behind the jack. On the line? Yep. Okay, let's go in half here, cut cut the distance. You go a bit closer. Yep, we'll go along with that. Can we stop this now? Yep. Because that's not a realistic um 
typical way that this program ends up. The, the way uh, this head normally develops is two, three, four, five, six. They go, typically the, the skips go for, hey, if you guys are, are world champions, Let's get them as close as they've got the ability to stick them. And that's, I've, apart from what you've just done now, it's never happened that way before. So are you saying that we're wrong? No, I'm saying it's not typical. It's not much different from the way we have it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's just become an, well, awful, a lot, an awful lot harder. Okay. That, they're the same. They were there. Yep. And they're back. Yep. And it's, and, it's, and it's given a fit. And it's... Um, so normally these are just a lot closer and without bowls to actually sit on to reduce the numbers. Okay, so we, we, we've, we've opened, it, opened it up a bit more rather than tightening it. Yes, yeah. So does that, and I'm not sure that that's a, something that the, will get the message across as to how, because uh, the second part of it's the important part yep. about how do you guys, if it's a really tight head, a difficult head, how do you now work together as a team to achieve it? Because the very first time we run through it, these guys all go up there and go, I'm the hero here, I've got to draw the shot. I'm heavy, I'm heavy, I'm heavy. I'd run with Dino, yep. see the outcome of yep. it. Okay. And then perhaps if you think, oh, the outcome is only reinforced what I... Yeah. Re I suppose the difference here is uh, you guys have seen it a number of times and so know what the um, what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, I think that probably yep. is in the back of your head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the only difference really is that number five, which you currently have there, that was about another. Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah. Uh, and and number eight. Uh, number eight was the back ball rather. See, than six. see, at the moment, this, this would have normally been number two. Yeah. Um, where we didn't, you guys didn't put a bowl in there until number eight. No, he had number two about there. Yeah, yeah we're eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Number two there. Yep. Uh, all which you've got a very good opportunity to draw a second shot where typically number two is is somewhere there and it becomes difficult mental just a, it's a real challenge that's the that's the main uh message i suppose now happy to run with it and see what happens he hadn't made a decision on number eight had he oh yes he yeah, 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 okay. let's see what it, let's see what it looks like and i'd even keep this on the video because we can look at the video and see the video is all about exploring. Yep. All right. So typically in this um, in this drill, the players would normally go away expecting that their skip is going to ask them to land, there. To land on the on the CDs in order, and whether they've actually got the skills to do that. Um, we're not going to do that. You guys have actually got to come up with a plan as to how you're going to beat the perfect end. And the way we do that is I'm going to place bowls in order on the CDs and your team have to go away and come up with a plan now to see how they're actually going to uh, get a result out of this head. Away you go, Dina. Okay, guys. Okay, okay Lloydie, um, you can see that Jack's that far behind the shot bowl. You choose your hand. You're looking to try and give us something as a widening of the head. Coming down nicely, mate. Coming down nicely.
keep that line, add one metre, sitting inside that. How are we looking? A little tight. Okay, weight wasn't too bad. Place number three. Thank you. I like you on this hand, Rowan. Again, we're wanting a bowl. Are we wanting a bowl just in here? Do you know the camera? That's enough distance. Try it again. Got two bowls to sit on. Coming nicely. Can suck underneath for you. Right, won't go straight back there. All right, we're needing a bowl. We're needing a bowl to sit in, into here, uh, Max. Like this. Just dropped off, buddy. Dino, camera. <laughs> Again, this is the position we're looking for. Come on, Max. Keep him running. Thanks. Seventh bowl. This is your first one. One, two, three, four, five down. Playing backhand into the head? Yeah, just a little bit of weight onto those three there. Yeah, yeah. Well, one on the rain surface is a ripper, isn't it? And the last ball, number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six down. Come up, Dana. I'm going to do this head again and I want you this time to work together as a four yep. and the object of the exercise is as a team appreciate that every bowl has the ability to contribute and the object of the exercise is simply to go one shot down okay um, 
everybody typically when we run this program the first time everybody feels that they have to do the hero shot and they have to do the perfect shot to get the resting toucher especially when the first bowl is just in front of the jack imagine if the front end could simply widen the head on both hands not only is it third shot but it gives you back end options this game's all about getting options and giving the, uh, the, the thirds and the skips the opportunities to convert the head leads and seconds build that head so that you can you give your, your skips and your thirds the ability to convert later on let's go back and we're going to do this again um, in exactly the same order but with a different mindset and the mindset is simply to end up at the end of the day minus one one shot down so Lloyd we've placed the first bowl uh, first bowl is in where Dino nominated it Rightio Dino, fatten up that head for us please mate Yes, mate. Good. How are you, mate? Yes, Dino. Track here, buddy. Oh, mate. Ah, it's okay. All good, mate. Beat that one, mate. Right. Yes, Maxi. Oh, play this well, champ. Play this real well, buddy. Hurry now. Oh, good, mate. Much better. Much better. Still that bold you, you jack there, mate. Beat that. You get second. That's good again, bud. How's your pace here, champ? Come on, Maxie. Hurry now, buddy. Handy, handy. Right here, Papa. Meet us through that one, mate. All right, if you get past it to there, it's a real good result. It's very handy, the water bowl, isn't it? Yeah. Track here, mate, come on. Papa, get down now. Oh, it's a super effort, bud. Well played. Number six. Yeah, mate, still there. Probably had a meter. All right, onto that one. Yes, Papa. All oh, your pace now, bud. Yeah, mate. Here and here. Well played, buddy. Third shot. Awesome. You. Don't put that there. Oh, this is where you can be there. The microphone's all awesome. Okay. We put the bunker on the wrong side. Yeah, and you get the I know. <laughs> That's finished up. That's finished up a good bowl there. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. was good. Well, I've still got to play out the air, don't I? Try and get that. Remember, what's the object of the exercise? Get second shot. Yeah. Get second shot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to play too heroically because you want. It's not about getting shot, and it's not about doing the big, the big bowl. It's simply, um, what are you, two down at the moment? Two down. Two down. I'm gonna try and maybe roll that. 
more. And I'm looking at number eight. Yes. <laughs> and, and the fact that we've got nothing behind. Wait until we put number eight in. Good stuff, man. Good. Well done. I brought Dan over as well, so he's yep. just an interesting head. Terrific. Um, that was a different mindset, wasn't it? Yeah. And this bowl that was here and here gave you options. What would have been an even one, a better option too was if you'd had one ball somewhere behind because then you could attack it even more. Um, but one down, that's a wonderful result. Yep. Um, that's what this drill's all about, is do you have the mindset to work together as a team of four to achieve a result? If you can do that, more often than not, you will come out ahead. As soon as you start playing individual bowls, thinking that you've got to do the hero shot, you're in so much a world of hurt. Um, this is to try and get you guys to think uh, together and think as a team. Thank you. Uh, before we close this, this is worthwhile that we go. I think this bowl was here, was it? Did you just move it? Uh, yep, yeah, at the end, yes. Yep. Just going around, I reckon there are always, in this case, there are three options. Dan has joined us. We saw a backhand choice of Rowan for Lloyd. Lou, do you, let's see it. Tell me an option that you would have considered forehand or backhand, very quickly. Uh, forehand, just ignoring that bowl, contact with any of those bowls, just sit the shot bowl. Lloyd, you are skipping. If you've not been told, what do you think now, seeing it? Yep, inside of the green, trying to get it back in. Okay, don't forget that bowl wasn't there. Wasn't there? No, no, no that no, bowl wasn't there. Green, just the, yeah, just just destroying, destroying the yeah. Dino, interesting viewers, Dino as the lead was giving most of the instructions. Know your role, Dino. <laughs> anyway, tell us, I love it, I had to do it. Tell us uh, backhand or forehand what you would have chosen. Well, because I've put these two wide bowls out here, yep. I'd have said, hit that, get the jack over there so they come into play. Okay. Hup. Another, you, another option. You, call, you actually called it. I did, a very foolish defensively, I think. Okay. That. But the other option would have been, I think, strike that ball and turn it into the head. Okay. Maxi? Uh, I saw a shot here that you can get that through. Jack is potentially going forward to the you play onto that white one out wide. Maybe a drive. Dan? Yeah. I, would have, I would have felt the objective of the exercise was already met, but inside edge off that, um, I feel any touch on the jack could only be detrimental to the team, especially with this bowl in the way. Um, the jack would come through and ricochet off of that and you could possibly go Max, four down. You've had your go. No, no, no I'm just gonna, I, just wanna, I just wanna compliment Max on what, he's, what he just did, because I reckon, I didn't see that, 
but what he suggested don't is that bowl onto there yeah. will push the jack and that's really, yeah, two really two. Bad yep. like that. Two, two. That, that's really yep. good okay one, one other because we've done this once before at this very venue I would have said there's no need to bowl it let's concede that we've met the objective because we have seen this, we were one down, the player drove it, or played the shot, and they end up four down. Yep. Now that to me comes back to the game plan. So viewers, that perfect end, or head, what a great thing, not only for the way you set it up, but what we've been able to take from it as we see it. So anyone back in Clubland, gee, consider, and, and we're all coaches, consider doing this back at the club, it's a great program. Uh, so, Dan, that is fabulous, mate. Thank you very much once again. Okay, we'll call it quits on that clip.